They have toured all over the globe, filled arenas with diehard fans, and have been honored with countless awards. It's been nine years since Limp Bizkit has been on the music scene, but they are back and better than ever with an upcoming tour. They're also hard at work on their new album, Gold Cobra. Today we are joined by Wes Borland of the band to talk about the tour and their new music. Wes, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So now I understand your buddy Fred is stuck in some... Uh, New York City traffic, He's, right? He is definitely stuck in traffic in a cab and tried <laughs> to get here, but hey, he will not be with us today. That's all right. Maybe he'll run in at the last second. So you guys are back on the road with some new music for all your adoring fans. Tell me a little bit about this new album you're working on. Well, you know what? Uh, it's uh, If you still, if you hated Limp Bizkit, you're definitely going to still hate Limp Bizkit. <laughs> There's been no change as far as... Uh, the style of our music. Um, the My friends that I've played the tracks for, because we haven't played uh, the songs for a lot of people, have said it sounds just like your your old music, but uh, there's something fresh and new about it. And, you know, I think that just comes from doing what feels natural and, uh, you know, just being influenced by new things that are happening now. But the record sounds like Limp Bizkit. It sounds... Uh, as different from the other records as they do each other and we're just excited to be getting along uh, for once well, well and uh, what were you doing on your time off Wes because it's been quite a few years since we've seen you in action uh, I had uh, another band called Black Light Burns that put out a couple of records and did some touring and I had a very short uh, stint in Marilyn Manson as the guitar player okay. um, and all that basically made me just uh, I've never felt the connection that I feel with the guys in Limp Bizkit in uh, anything else I'd ever done. There's a chemistry there and a, a spontaneity and an energy that just was not capturable anywhere else. Huh. But now, you know, before you said that being part of Limp Bizkit made your heart go black. Why was that? And why are things different now? I don't know. I think that, uh, you know, when you're in your 20s and kind of searching and uh, you're going through a, and, uh, a bunch of different things and trying different things and being thrown into a, a band where uh, you know everybody's pulling you in different directions and trying to get you to diff do different things, uh, you just get overwhelmed. And uh, growing up helped a lot. And I think realizing that uh, I was the one that a lot of the problems were coming from, uh, and not just pointing the finger at everyone else. You know, uh -huh. taking the blame for a lot of things and realizing you're wrong uh, is a big realization and a big step. And when that clarity came. Uh, over the years, also meeting a lot of my heroes and realizing the grass wasn't greener right. in other places uh, was a was a big factor too. Well, well, you mentioned that you were basically thrown together, and I read online. I'm not sure if this was true or not, but when you and um, Fred first got together, you basically practiced for a half an hour before your first concert. Yeah, that's right. That's amazing. How, I mean, didn't you, that's unheard of to have clicked that quickly, though. Uh, I don't know if it was clicking really quickly. Uh, it, it was more. Uh, the, the band invited me into the band to replace a guitar player uh, while Fred was out of town doing a tattoo internship in Philadelphia, actually. So I right. practiced with the rest of the guys in, in the band and met Fred on day of show and played a show. So there was no previous friendship. It's like two people thrown into a working situation who have to become, you know, friends through work. And it took... You know, a, over a decade for that to happen. But yeah, now well, your fans absolutely love you. I think you know, what, ten years ago, I was a reporter in Detroit covering you, and I mean, they just absolutely go crazy. So I know this tour is no different. And you were in Houston a couple weeks ago, and I think um, if I read it correctly, you sold out the tour in eleven minutes. Yeah, it was. Uh, it did really well. We had a great time in Houston, and the new tour begins in July and we're, we'll be going through the US for seven weeks with uh, Snoop Dogg as direct support. Well, that's pretty cool. How'd you guys get him on board? We've known him for a long time and he's just such a likable guy and uh, such a uh, great presence. Uh, I, I think that everybody uh, kind of universally agrees that you know whoever meets Snoop Dogg or whoever is touched by him just can't you know can't say no to the guy. He's he's right. a great guy. No, I understand that you did a secret show for your fans earlier this week. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, that's actually happening tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, so sorry. It's, uh, <laughs> Secrets out of the back. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a secret anymore. Okay. We're just we're doing a a, a show in uh, at the Gramercy uh, Blender Theater, and there's something like 500 tickets that are first come first serve and. Should should be great. All We're right. really excited about it. And you know, if you're a diehard a fan of yours, a lot of people are looking at you a little differently. Cause you don't have all the makeup on. What's right, going on? Right. Well, I don't walk around uh, looking <laughs> like I'm from some contemporary, you know, ring cycle opera or something like that. It's uh, walk around in normal street clothes, and my eyes aren't black from 
you know, yeah, wall to wall. I can see why. All right, Wes of Limp Bizkit, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Thanks for having me. All right. For more information on the tour, you can go to limpbiscuit.com. And good, lots of luck with all of that anticipated album there as well. And that's all the time we have for What's the Buzz. For more, be sure to click on us at the entertainment section of abcnews.com. I'm Meg Oliver in New York. Thanks for watching. ABC News Now. Good to know.